She goes over to pick it up, to put it back. She looks at the back of the frame. There's a hidden letter in the back. She opens up the letter, and the letter is from Reem to God. The letter says, from Reem to Allah, I die and my father lives. Well, and this is an example of relationship between something so small you may teach your child to, to grab at that age to grab a relationship with not anybody but his maker and this is the only thing that separates us from the rest of the world and the rest of the creation is the fact that we have a hub that we go back to and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the master of ceremony Imam al Hussein. You heard all the stories. You heard how he's killed. You, have, you heard what they did to his family. But the more important thing is what he did on the day of Karbala when he stood in front of everybody and said, between him and Allah, says, Allahumma anta fiqati fi kulli kaab. They don't tell you these things because it's not, it's not a theatrical play. Allahumma anta fiqati fi kulli kaab. Wa rajai fi kulli shidda. Allah. Hussein is saying this, and he's about to die. You are my, my helper in every affliction. Allah to you alone do I go back to. This is what I teach my child. And you teach your child to strike a relationship with Allah <clears throat> because Allah will ch strike it back. How? Ever heard of this? It says, one way love is a disease. If you love somebody at school and they don't love you, it's a disease for who? For you. One way love is a disease. One way love is a disease. If I love Allah, He doesn't love me. That's a, a calamity. Allah in the Quran says, chapter Al Al Ma'ida, I believe, <coughs> or Ali Umran, verse 31. Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul in kuntum tuhibun Allah. Say, if you do love Allah, فَاتَّبِعُونِ Muhammad is saying, follow me. يُحْبُكُمْ Allah. If you, follow, if you love Allah, you follow me, Muhammad, what I taught you. What did I teach you? Oh, it's gone. The Quran, verse 31. Uh, there it is. Say, if you love God, Muhammad is saying this. <coughs> if you love God, follow me. Follow me. If you love Allah, do what I say. Uh, you don't have to pray, but do. Follow who? If you love Allah, you can say, Allah, oh, I love you. I have a good heart. But it doesn't say here anything about good heart, does it? Let me see. No, no heart. No heart. No heart. If you love Allah, follow me. You love me, you follow me the way I want you to love me. It's not up to you how you love me. Allah says, you go by my rules. Allah, what are your rules? Follow me. Who's me? Muhammad. Muhammad. Follow Muhammad. What he says. When you follow Muhammad and what he says, well, well, what's the end result? In kuntum tihubboon Allah fattabi'uni yuhbubkum Allah. Hey, there's an added asset to it too. Allah will love you. Wa yajfir lakum dhunubu. And not only will he love you, he will forgive your... He will forgive all that you have done. All the screw-ups. Take them, tear it up. All the ease that you got in school. Boom! Done. No more progress reports. يُحْبُكُمْ Allah. But it has to be a two-way love. So I love Allah. We all love Allah. We all have a good heart. It's only what? Allah doesn't love us all, does He? Because not all of us do what? Not all of us follow Muhammad. So the two interpretations of the word du'a'ukum is as follows. One says du'a'ukum that Allah says, I want you to be good people, good role models and good missionaries. The other interpretation is that Allah says you have to be what? You have to be you have to be uh, strike a relationship with Allah. 
Add it to your Facebook. Write a letter to him like Kareem did. Break your relationship. Why? Everybody will let you down. I'll let you down. I'll let you down. Invite me again. I'll let you down. Just to prove the point. And the only one that does not let you down is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there is nothing aib in it. Oh man, that's just embarrassing. My man is embarrassing. Tell me to strike a little relationship with Allah. What am I, what am I going to tell my friends at school? Oh, I love Allah. Yeah. Yeah. The accepted dua, the actual dua. There are some that may ask, well, I'm asking Allah and I'm striking a relationship with Allah, but it's not working. It's not working because you're doing it the wrong way. How am I doing it the wrong way? Who do you ask? You ask Allah. Do you ask anybody other than Allah? When you want to write a letter, who do you write a letter to? From now on, who do we write letters? Can I write a letter to Muhammad, the Prophet? Can I? No. We have to do it the proper way in order for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our letters and to accept our prayers. I ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts all our prayers and yours. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, my God.